Now let's see what TFIDF has to do with mutual information. Remember that we have a transmitted signal which is the content of the web page and we want to somehow compute what are the best keywords that should represent this web page so that the mutual information between the content and the web page keywords is high. Our channel in this case is TFIDF. We're trying to figure out what this channel does in terms of maximizing the mutual information. TFIDF is, was actually invented, as we just argued, as an intuitive or heuristic technique. But it's been shown recently that the mutual information between all pages in a collection and all the words in the collection is actually proportional to this sum, which is essentially the individual TFIDFs of each word summed up over all the documents. So if you take every word in the collection, compute its TFIDF, and add that up across all documents and all words, you will get the mutual information between all words and all pages. This is certainly very interesting because it puts this fairly intuitive heuristic technique on a firm mathematical footing. I am conscious of the fact that I haven't defined for you exactly what is mutual information, but like I said earlier, bear with me because there are many other instances where mutual information is important, so when you finally see the formula, it will become extremely interesting. Let's try to compute now the uh, best keywords that represent this paragraph taken from the landing page for this course. Well, let's try to compute the uh, best keywords for this paragraph taken from the uh, course landing page using TFIDF. The term frequencies for each word are easily calculated. They are merely the number of times each word occurs in this paragraph. But what about the document frequencies? We only have one paragraph, so where do we look? What do you think? Well, what is the largest document collection available to all of us? The web, obviously. So to find out if a word is rare or common, we just search for it on the web and look at the number of results that turn up. We also need an estimate of all the documents on the web. And we estimated that last week using search of common words. That told us that around 50 billion pages are indexed by a search engine like Google. I'd like to mention here that the search engines don't actually index every possible URL so that the total number of URLs is actually much, much larger than 50 billion. There has been an animated discussion in the forum regarding this point, and I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to that. However, for the purpose of this discussion, we merely need an estimate of how rare or frequent a word is, and taking just the indexed web as our estimate is good enough. So let's see what we get by searching for the different words in this paragraph. Searching for the, we get around 25 billion results. Searching for map reduce, on the other hand, we get close to 200 million results. We can similarly calculate the number of hits we get for the other words in this paragraph. We compute the ratio of the number of hits with 50, which is our estimate for the total number of documents on the web, to get the IDF before taking logs. And we take the log, multiply it by the frequency of the term in the paragraph itself, and we get a TFIDF value. Well, here, log of 2 is 1, obviously, and so you multiply it by 2, and you get 2. But interestingly, for the others, you get slightly surprising results, but also intuitive ones. Course is a very much more common word than MapReduce, but it also occurs twice. 
so it comes up high in the TFIDF, so do MapReduce and Web Intelligence, even though they occur only once. What taking the log does is it makes sure that you give a higher weightage to the term frequency as opposed to this ratio. But this ratio is also taken into account. So the top keywords for a paragraph can be automatically computed. Just as we might have guessed looking at this paragraph, this is about a course on web intelligence and MapReduce. Makes a lot of sense. It's certainly not about media. It's certainly not about the. So the machine has actually done what we do fairly intuitively. Now let's ask the question, once you've got the keywords, could you possibly choose a good title for this document? Well, this is an open problem today, and I'll leave you to think about it and discuss this in the forum.